So this is a 351 Cleveland. Right now I'm throwing the pistons in it, getting the rotating assembly sorted out. I did a 40 over bore on this motor with flat top pistons. One of the coolest engines I think out there because it's been banned from so many racing applications. And those things where Ford just kind of like, all right, well, we'll beat everybody. And rather than other, everybody else stepping up, uh, they got banned from a lot of circle track, dirt track type racing areas as well. There's a lot of uh, architecture here from the Clevelands that are used in later, uh, later designed engines. This particular block is getting a hydraulic roller cam. These are the hydraulic roller lifters that are being installed. This is a uh, comp cams, big mother thumper hydraulic roller cam. It uses the same same style as your typical uh, Windsor hydraulic roller cam setup. All of the studs, the main studs and the head studs are all ARP hardware. Of course, you got to use the ARP fastener lubricant with it. The gasket kit's just a normal 351 Cleveland four barrel rebuild kit. There are two different styles of these motors. One has a four barrel head. Actually, there's four different head styles. You have the four barrel heads, which you see here. These are the four barrel open chamber heads. I have a set of uh, four barrel closed chamber heads that are going to be used on another motor. So the four barrel heads have the really, really big ports. They have a 2.12 inch intake valve. There's two barrel heads, closed chamber and open chamber. And the closed chamber ones are usually from imported from Australia. The two barrel open chamber ports have a 2.02 .02 or 2.06 intake port or intake valve size. And uh, those are usually found on, once again, your two barrel head, your two barrel Cleveland's. It's also found on your 351 modifieds and your 400s. All of those are part of the 335 series engines. This one, I just kept the standard rockers with it. Um, really wasn't going too crazy with this motor. It was originally supposed to go into my 1983 or 82 Ford F100. Um, and as stated in the video, obviously plans got changed, but I had every, everything laying around to build this motor. So I decided to assemble it anyway, and maybe we can find a home for it. So I realized this is like one, two, skip a few, 99, 100. Um, I stopped recording at some point because one, I forgot my camera wasn't recording when doing like the intake manifold. And then it just kind of got to the point where I'd go out there for two minutes in the morning or two minutes in the evening, and throw a bolt or two in just to keep pressing forward. Um, all of that's done now. Um, engine oil system is primed, and the distributor back on. Um, we got a fresh tank of fuel in. Now we're going to do our break-in procedures. So this will be about 30 minutes run time at 2 to 3,000 RPM. Can't really break in the rings because I don't really have a way to throw some load on it, but we can at least make 